You are already familiar with how GitLog works, how it shows your current branch and all the history of the commits. So if I had a brand new repo with three commits, A, B, and C, and I execute log, I should see the following output. And if I execute ref log, I should see this following output. Is reflog just a verbose log? Well, no, it's actually not. It's very, very different. And to illustrate the point, let's remove commit C. I can remove commit C by using git reset. I can walk back one branch. And as you can see with git log, I now only have B and A. But if I use git ref log, you'll notice that I don't have two entries. I actually have four entries. I have A, B, C, then back to B. And notice that it contains the command I use to get to B, which means that if you need to get the contents of C, you can actually use some of the plumbing of Git plus reflog to be able to retrieve back out the contents of C, even though it's gone from your branch. I cannot tell you how many times reflog has saved my bacon by walking back and getting some commits that have been long forgotten. So what is reflog? Well, the definition from Git SCM is reference logs or reflog records the tip of branches and other references whenever they are updated. Or in layman's terms, reflog tracks the changes of a branch or other references, other references being head. This means as you move your head around from branch to branch or from commit to commit, it tracks every last little step. I personally only ever use reflog to look at how my head has transitioned over time and rescue out a commit if I need to.